welcome back to another one of our primary assemblies, boys and girls. Staff, thanks for tuning in again. This week, we're following the story when the wise men or the stargazers are getting together to work out what gifts they should bring. Now, this is a drama. It didn't actually happen quite like this because the stargazers, the wise men, would have been together. But in our drama, they're using Zoom. They're getting together using computers if they've been created then. So enjoy the drama where the three wise men and their boss are talking about which gifts they're going to bring for baby Jesus. What gifts would you have brought? Hi Melky, oh, good to see you here. You know me, always a little early, unlike some I could mention. Now, now, we don't know Casper and Balthazar are going to be late. There's still 30 seconds till we're due to start. You're too soft on them, boss. They need to learn to be on time. If I can do it, then so should they. Excuse me? Oh, sorry, boss. Didn't mean to be rude. Just a suggestion that we can maybe have things running a little bit more smoothly, that's all. Duly noted. Right then, they're not here. Let's make a start anyway. Let's face it, they're not going to be much use. But anyway, I'm assuming that you were watching the skies last <laughs> night, just like us. Oh, here we go. Hi, oh. Hi. Hi everyone. Casper, Casper, why are you upside down? Oh, oh sorry, it looks like the kids were playing with the tablet last night. Wait a minute, we'll I can sort, sort this. Out. I don't want to look down your nose all morning. I am Come looking on. down his nose. Oh, no, he's gone completely <laughs> now. Oh, no, you're oh. still upside oh, down. Corner. Come on, Down it's there. not hard to do. There we no, go, really? thank you. Yes. Uh, well, Balthazar, I don't know why you're laughing. <laughs> why are you called Balthazar the wide? You've been oh. eating too much cake again. Sorry. Honestly, yeah. here I am trying to run a professional Idiot, try again. Why we get all the good jobs and I have to work with people like you. Fantastic. Know, there we go. <laughs> uh, idiot, try yeah. again. Look. Oh, oh sorry, <laughs> sorry. I'll get Go there getting your name right, Casper. Well, you know, predicted cats. <laughs> there That's we me. go, Balthazar the Wise. Finally, right then, let's get okay. started properly. I'm assuming that you're watching the skies last night, just like I asked you to. Oh, darling, yeah. if you're making a cup of tea, I'd love one, please. Yeah, oh, that'd be great. Oh, and me, and me. And have you got any biscuits? Uh, Balthazar, how's that going to work? You don't even live in the same house. Both oh, yeah. of you, focus. Oh, yeah. As I was saying... Ready? I assume you were watching the skies last night, just like I asked you. I certainly was. What a night it was. Great. So you saw the star then? Oh, oh, I was watching a star all night till I went to bed. Really? How encouraging that you were actually doing what you were meant to do for a change. Um, well, not exactly. What do you mean? You said you were watching a star. Well, we just bought a new HDTV. 60 inch. Impressive, but what's that got to do with star watching? Well, you know, I wanted to try it out, so I watched Ariana Grande concert on YouTube. She's the uh, biggest star in the oh, world. Oh, I love her too. I, I wish I'd been able to watch it with you. Oh, me too. Oh, have you seen a new album? Heard a new album? Oh, yeah, Positions. Oh, I was streaming it all over the weekend. Oh, it's just so amazing. Um, have you two oh, quite finished? Such a star. Um, Right then, Melchior, seeing as the only person who did their job right was you, no surprise there, please fill in these two about the star that you saw. Certainly. I had my telescope positioned exactly where you told us to. Great. And sure enough, there was a new star in the sky. I did some research on it and I found out that, that star is to tell the world about a very special baby that's been born. Brilliant. Oh, Fantastic. Cool. Casper, what? You're mute. You're on Casper, mute. Casper, we can't, we can't hear, hear you. you. You're on mute. Press the no, button. No, we can't hear Take you. yourself off mute. In the You've corner. Got to say, we need to hear it. Although I hate to think what it's going to be. Take that's it. Press the one. That's it. Go on. It's not oh, hard. You think we got all day, Take wouldn't you? Take yourself off mute. Oh Come my on. goodness. Take oh. yourself. Press the button. Come on. Mom, just yeah, press the. Oh. oh. Sorry about that, press leave by mistake. Oh, I think you've got Zoom mastered yet. Look, <laughs> I'd love to share my screen. Let me show you. <laughs> Hold on. 
Oh, it's not working. Oh, it was working before. Baltazar, do you really think I'm going to let you share the screen again? I've changed the settings so only I can. We've seen enough cute cat videos. Thank you very much. Okay. Anyway, where were we? Let's get back to the matter in hand. Melchior, you were saying. Yes, this is a very special baby who is going to grow up to be an amazing king. Correct, Melchior. Well done. Ooh. Chat notification, what does this say? Let's have a look. Huh? Melchior's such a goody, goody teacher's pet. I hate <laughs> him. Oh no, that was meant to be a private message to Casper. <laughs> well, it wasn't, was it? You put it in the public chat. Anyway, that's not the kind of thing I expect you to say about a fellow team member. Yeah, but it's true though. <laughs> enough, enough. There's nothing wrong with doing your job properly. Um. You two could learn a lot from Melchior. Both of you apologise right now. Sorry, Melchior. Sorry, Melchior. I'll yeah. speak to you two again later. Anyway, because we've only got the free version of Zoom, we're going to time out soon. So this is what I need you to do. Get your suitcase and get packing for the journey because you're going to go and see this special baby. Melchior, I've got an excellent task for you two. I okay. want you to think of gifts that all of you can take to give to the baby. Tell the others before the next meeting so I know they've got them ready. Is that okay? We'll do. Yeah, brilliant. Call, I'll see guys. you here back on Zoom in an hour. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Oh, bye. Oh. See ya. Bye, Melchior. Bye. Thank you. Oh, honestly, thank goodness for one sensible team member. If I let Casper or Balthazar choose the gifts, who knows what they bring? Probably something stupid like a Kevin the carrot. Yeah, that's going to be great. Idiots. Well, choosing gifts for people can be really challenging, can't it? I don't know if you've ever been told, um, look, we need to know what you'd like for Christmas. And you're thinking, I don't know, maybe a voucher or some money or I don't know, help. And you're looking online and you're talking to your family and your friends. Well, choosing gifts is important, isn't it? The gifts that we choose for people, the gifts that we buy and we make and we create for our family and our friends. They're really important because they show how much we love and care for these people. I don't know if you've ever received a gift and you've, you've looked at it on Christmas Day. You've torn off the wrapping paper and you went, what's that? What? You bought me that? Oh my word. No, I'm sure you've never said that. But I bet you're thinking, what is it? Why? Why have you bought that for me? We've all received gifts that... Perhaps we think, I'm not sure it's what I wanted. I'm not sure. I'd have bought that for me. Well, gifts are important. And let's really hope that these three star watchers in our story today bought gifts that were right for baby Jesus. I mean, what would you buy the most important baby in the world? I mean, you wouldn't buy baby Jesus a soft toy because he didn't really have soft toys. I don't know. What on earth would you buy the most important baby in the world? I think these three Star Watchers got it right, but they took a while, didn't they? They came up with some crazy ideas first. Let's enjoy the final episode of this amazing story, and I'll see you later. Um, I've got my bag packed and I've got some brilliant gift ideas. Excellent. I'm so pleased. Uh, I, I made them really simple this time so that, that even they could get them right. Oh, I'm glad you made them simple. That's a good idea. I'm sure they'll be here soon. I'm looking forward to hearing about all those gift ideas. I've got the final instructions up. Oh, here <laughs> we go. Here we go. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey. Oh, hi. Hi there. Hello. Good to have you. Hey, that's good. Casper? <laughs> Casper, oh, would you care What's the matter, Casper? No? What's funny, Casper? Oh, <laughs> look look at Balti's name! Look! Oh, look. Is there something again? you want to tell us, Baltazar? It's a little oh. to be on the wine, isn't it? Yeah, sorry, spell check. You always say spell check. It's funny how the others get it right. Right then. There okay. we go, very wise. Fantastic. I've done some checking and I've got all the details for when you guys, where you need to go. Okay? Uh, 
Uh, hang on, hang on. What do you mean where you need to go? Uh, aren't you coming with us? Oh, no, 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 no. I've got far too much to do here. So, Melchior, I'm putting you in charge. Mm. Enough, enough. Mm. Right, listen up. You're going to be going to Jerusalem. Now, I know at this time of year, flights are really expensive because of Christmas, but our budget can cope. The nearest airport, according to Google, is Ben Gurion Airport. So I'm Stop, gonna... uh, uh, sorry to interrupt you, boss, yeah. but that's no good. Why not? Uh, there's no flights because of the virus. <gasps> Ooh, <that's laughs> right, if we can't fly, it's going to have to be, or it's going to have to be train or car. So, Casper, I really hope you've got some travel sickness pills. I know you don't like long journeys. Uh... I'm afraid not. I was meant to go to the chemist last week, but I went there and then I forgot yeah. to take my mask. Oh. So I went home, got my mask, went back to the chemist. It was shut. Oh, 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 don't worry. It's OK. I think I've got some somewhere around here. Hold Great. on. Hold Fantastic. on. Where are oh, they? Well, that's brilliant. Thank you. Oh, so much. Uh, oh no. Sorry. Just uh, sweet. Never mind. Oh. Right. <sighs> I'm sorry, guys, but there's no other option. You're going to huh? have to go by camel. Oh, oh, oh no. 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 Oh. There's no other option. Right then. Show me the gift ideas. I can't wait to see what you've got. Right. Well, I tried ringing them. Yeah. However, their phones were on silent. So I've left voicemails for them. OK, great. Casper, let's start with you. What have you got? Well, old Melky said to bring gold, so yeah. I've got three ideas. You ready? Good. Yep. You can't go wrong with singing to a baby, can you? So no. how about a bit of Spandau Ballet? Gold! <gasps> gold! Always believe in yourself. <laughs> Always believe in yourself. You're indestructible. <laughs> Always believe in you. Enough. Gold! Enough! Love it. Love Enough. It. That's, that's not what I meant. Oh, oh okay. Well, no problem then. Then, uh, then who doesn't like chocolate? Uh, how about a gold bar? <gasps> no! Yummy! No. No. no! Oh, okay then. Well, we're all going to have to go all boring and just take some gold coins. Great. Yeah. Thank you, Casper. You've actually got something right. Well done. Balthazar, how about you? What have you got? Well, the message it was a bit fuzzy and it yeah. sounded like you wanted me to bring a mirror. Well, there's no way I can bring a mirror down from a wall. They're all way too big. And then I thought, what does a baby need with a mirror anyway? What's he going to do? Check his hair? I'm I definitely with so. you, Balthazar. Melchior, I'm sorry, but that's a really weird gift. What are you playing at? I didn't say mirror. I said mer. Mer? Mer? You mean, you mean that spice that people put on, you know, when... That's not a very nice gift. Mm. Uh, I'll explain on the way, OK? Right. OK, thank okay. you. Thank you, Balthazar. That's two down. Melchior, tell me about your gift. Well, as usual, I've done it properly. <laughs> I've got some frankincense. Mm. Oh, great idea. I know how smelly babies can be. Nothing like a bit of air freshener to make things better. Yeah, you should have gone with Febreze, though. <laughs> oh, good idea. I love the lavender one. Oh, do you? I prefer the spiced apple. Oh, I've not tried that one yet. Oh, it's even better than vanilla blossom. Enough. Ooh. Enough. Enough. Right <sighs> That's not why I suggested bringing it. Oh, look, just never mind. I'll explain on the way as well. OK? okay. Thank you, Melchior. OK, so you've got the gifts. Yeah. You've got your yeah. bags packed. It looks like yeah. you're ready to go. I hope you have a great time. Hope everything goes smoothly. I'm sure it will. And I look forward to hearing about it all on the way back. Just one last thing before you go. Don't forget your hand sanitizer. <laughs> of course. Yeah, good one. Yeah, good one. Yeah, take See care. Ya. Bye, Bye now. The three star watchers, the three wise men in our story brought special gifts for baby Jesus. Here we are. These are the three gifts. Let's have a look at them. Casper. Casper brought gold coins. Gold coins for a baby. You might be thinking, why? Why would you take gold for a baby? What would, why would you give gold? The baby couldn't use gold. Why would you bring gold? 
strange. Casper knew baby Jesus was the most important baby in the whole world that would ever be born. He was so special. He was worth all the gold in the world. And that's why, and that's why Casper brought gold. Melky, Melky brought frankincense. Now frankincense was a special expensive perfume. It was like the Chanel number no. five. Other perfumes are available. Really expensive perfume. Only when you had a lot of money could you buy frankincense. You can still buy it. I haven't bought any. I have got room spray to make a bad smell into a good smell. And that's what Jesus did. Wherever he went, wherever he walked, wherever he served and loved people, he changed the atmosphere. He changed it from a bad smell where there were bad things going on and he changed the atmosphere and made it a good smell. I've used too much of that room odour destroyer thing. Anyway, <coughs> I've used way too much. Jesus changes the atmosphere. He came to tell everyone to love God and love people. That was it. That was the greatest thing he said we need to do. The most important thing to love God and love people. And that was it simply. When we do that, he changes the atmosphere. It changes all the bad stuff and turns life good. Turn, turns life ace, actually. It does. It smells better. Life is better when we love each other. It, it really is. Okay, and what about Balthazar? What did he bring? Perhaps one of the, perhaps the most unusual gift. Yes, it was myrrh. Now, this, is, this isn't myrrh. This is just dried up um, flowers and things. But... Myrrh was a special spice they used when people had died. What a strange thing to give to a baby. Well, why on earth would Balthazar give myrrh? Myrrh? Why? He was reminding us, and reminding, reminding the people at the, in the Nativity story, that one day, many, many years later, when Jesus was a man, he would sadly need to die, die to, to forgive the sins, forgive all the wrong that people do, because he loves, and he loved people, he loves us so much, one day he would die, that's why that myrrh was given, well, symbolic, all these three gifts were there to remind us how important Jesus is, and how we can give our gifts to him this Christmas, so what could you give Jesus? Lots of people think, what, what on earth can I give to Jesus? You know, all he wants, all he wants us to do is to give ourselves like he gave himself for us. He wants us to give ourselves to him. To say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all we have. Thank you for our family. Thank you for our friends. Thank you for our school and our teachers. Thank you for our NHS. Thank you for this world. Thank you for this vaccine that's been developed. Thank you for the opportunities that I have. Thank you for, the, for all I'm looking forward to in the future. All the things I'm hoping for. Thank you for this world you created. To enjoy all we have. To just do the very best that we can to say thank you. Thank you God for all you are. And Jesus thank you that you came as a baby to change the world. To show us that we need to love him and serve him. And follow him. So let me pray for you now before we finish. Lord, thank you for Christmas. Thank you for Jesus and all he means to each of us. Help us to remember that Jesus is the reason that we celebrate the Christmas season. Lord, thank you, Jesus, for your love and your kindness. Lord, be with every child, every staff member. Be with us this Christmas and help us to know your love and your kindness. Help us to show your love and kindness to one another. And help us to have a very amazing, special Christmas together. Amen. Amen. Let's have some Christmas music, eh? I'll just see if I can tune in this radio. Because it is Christmas, isn't it, boys and girls? I know you can't sing along, but you can clap. Let's see if we get some decent, decent tunes. Let's see if I can get this radio working. We've regained oh, our Bavarian town. Yeah. 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 Like we've got a sore throat. We've rather so far. Filled and panting. For a mountain falling yonder star. Whoa. Oh, you don't miss one of your boys and girls. No?
No, I don't want it either. Come on, let's have another go.